Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator with the National Portrait Gallery and a full-time artist with JJ Galloway Studio. In today's open studio lesson, we're making thumbprint portraits or fingerprint portraits. You could also call this finger painting. But unlike traditional finger painting where you do a lot of smearing, we're going to be using our fingertips to make fingerprints in our portraits. Now, the open studio lessons really are ways that we're showing you different kinds of mediums and techniques artists are using to make interesting portraits. These are contemporary artists, meaning doing art today. There are so many cool things that you can try to make great portraits. This is just one of them. So let's give finger painting a try. We need to get a simple outline of the face with all the features drawn in. You can either print out an image of your choice or you can freehand draw something. If you want to make a copy, you'll cover the back of your printout with some pencil or chalk. Lay the chalk side of your printout down onto a fresh piece of paper. Trace the outline of the face, including the features. Once you're done with the outline, you should have a good copy. You might need to retrace the lines a bit once you pull the original off. We're going to add value to these portraits using our fingerprints, but let's first talk about what I mean when I say value. Working in black and white, you add value in shades of gray. On a scale like this, you can see the whitest white is the color of the paper. The darkest dark is all black, so lots of fingerprints. When you begin adding values to your portraits, you first need to consider the light source. In this portrait, mine is in the upper right corner. The light is shining down on the top of my head, so that's the lightest part of my portrait, or less fingerprints. You'll dip your finger in some paint and start dabbing down fingerprints, looking first to do the darkest sections. When you start adding the middle tones, make sure you don't put very many fingerprints down, especially in the lighter sections, because they can't be erased. Just add fingerprints gradually. Because there are so many shades of gray within the values of your face, just start with the three main colors, the darkest, the middle tone, and the lightest or the whites. Work in big shapes and big spaces. The darker the area, the more fingerprints you have to add. You can use all of your fingers or even the sides of your fingers. If you're feeling like color, by all means, add colors. Take this idea any direction you'd like. Here's some work done by Chuck Close, who is easily one of the most important contemporary portrait painters of our time. These portraits are all done with his fingertips. A lot of these different portrait mediums start out with just a simple idea like finger painting. And then an artist like Chuck Close comes along and turns it into something completely amazing. But it all starts with the basics. So I hope you enjoyed today's art lesson. We would love to see your fingerprint portraits. If you wouldn't mind posting them on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check them out. Okay, we'll see you next time.